Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we have a 2009 Chevy Traverse, 190,000 miles. Now this is the one that had the P0018 trouble code after a timing job. Um, watch that video when we diagnose that. It's gone over 40,000 miles since then. Now the owner said it's intermittently kind of stumbling, losing power, misfiring. He said it set some misfire codes, but no timing codes. So it's here for a diagnosis. Let's jump in, read the trouble codes, and go from there. So we see 100 and almost 190,000 miles. Here are the trouble codes in the engine computer. P0420, 430, not too big of a concern. P0011, intake camshaft position system performance bank one. Huh, he didn't say anything about that, so that's a big clue. And then we have a 300, 301, 302, 303, 304, 305, 306. So the whole engine apparently is misfiring. But let's uh, start it up, look at some live data misfire counters, and this camshaft position data. So I don't want to clear anything just yet. Uh, we could even look at the freeze frame for the 0011 to see when, um, when it acted up. So not very helpful freeze frame because they don't give you the um, camshaft desired in actual positions when this thing happened. However, yesterday when the customer brought it over, I was just playing around with it a little bit, and at idle it seemed butter smooth. If you raise the RPMs up and just kind of play with the throttle, it would start rattling really badly under the hood, like a timing rattle, like a phaser or something that's losing oil pressure. And then it would smooth, up, smooth back out. So, just by those symptoms, and we'll try to reproduce them, sounds like it could be uh, an oil control solenoid issue where it's not controlling the phaser as it should, and the phaser is just getting loose. You know, there's no oil pressure on one or the other side causing this issue. Um, now, the oil control solenoids, he said he replaced all of them back when he did the timing chains, which was probably 50,000 miles ago with all OEM GM, you know, replacements. So, um, let's see, see what this thing does. Data stream, I want to look at this camshaft actuator data, and what you really want to look for is camshaft, this variance. Desired and actual, it subtracts those two, and you'll see if the camshaft is in the right place. So, and there's exhaust, those variances, and then for bank one, it's intake bank one, that's the, the code was setting, the P0011. So basically, let's do engine speed. There's command. Let's just look at those. I'm gonna start up. Heard a little bit of a rattle. Okay, so these are the two exhausts. These are two intakes, bank one and bank two. So I'm gonna raise the RPMs up slightly. You might need to warm up, you know, with the engine oil temperature. Let's take it for a test drive, see what happens. So as it's warming up, it seems to be getting a little worse. So we're gonna go up this little hill. 
Look at our variance on the yellow trace there. You can definitely hear a rattle once in a while. You can see right there is up to 40 degrees on that bank one intake. Definitely seems to be spiking a lot more than the others. There's 20 degree variance for a while. You see the command for bank one was stuck high during this period. So I'm gonna take a snapshot of that. I'm just going to rev it up. Right there, you can hear the rattle. Not happy. Yeah, big rattle. Look at bank one. Bank two variance is also actually through the roof. Now it's fine. Very strange. So it gets into this funk. All the variances are high. Wow. How do you explain that? Are solenoids gonna fix this Chevy? I'm not so sure. Some people might say, did you check the oil level? Let's check it right now. It says 11% oil life remaining. There's no sticker in the window. And these things, they, you know, higher mileage, they sometimes consume some oil. Let's pull it in, check the level. All right, let's see what we got. And there's no oil in the dipstick. I don't know if this video is even worth posting. Wow. I'll call the customer, tell him he doesn't need solenoids. He needs an oil change. Wow. So I drained two quarts. The capacity is five and a half quarts. That is ridiculous. So, no wonder. It was having VVT issues. Check your basics, there's no excuse for this. A, the owner should have checked his oil. B, I should have, that should have been the first check. 
instead of jumping to uh, conclusions about solenoids and stuff, they do fail, but basics. Go back to the basics. We'll take it for a test drive, but once I put some fresh oil in it, I think it should be perfect. Alright, let's see how she drives. Nice and smooth, as expected. You'll see the variance. Staying below, you know, like two degrees. No more clattering or chattering. So lesson of the day is basics, back to basics. So I'll admit, sometimes I'm kind of guilty, get too excited, because most of the cars I get for diagnostics, the basics have already been done several times, but that does not mean you shouldn't check the basics. So, very low oil level, three and a half quarts low on this thing. I only had two quarts left, no wonder the VVT phasers were chattering. Just didn't have enough oil pressure to do what they're supposed to do. So luckily this engine's still okay, but the owner does have to keep an eye on the oil level. Especially considering it's his wife's car. Um, she probably wouldn't be too happy if, uh, you know, <laughs> the engine blew up because uh, her husband didn't check the oil or something. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.